Our third presenter is Julian Brown from Three Counties Liberal Judaism. I'm very excited to have him here because I want to show that you don't have to have a building or a synagogue to be able to do, to make changes in your communities. Hi everybody. So uh, yes, people seem to want, you know, we've just got initials because we've got a very long title. Uh, we're Herefordshire, Worcestershire, Gloucestershire, but we also have members in uh, Wales, in Monmouth, in Abergavenny, and far south of Gloucestershire, so very big spread, but we're a small community, I think about 160, including children. So very different from, you know, some of the other presentations and things that I've heard. Um, because we are such a small community, we, we don't have our own uh, synagogue building. We are fortunate in having a very a positive uh, half-time rabbi, Anna Gerard. So that's a great asset because she's very committed to all kind of uh, environmental ideas. Um, we do have a base in Gloucester, which is a Gloucestershire Deaf Association, who've been very kind to us and have a, a, a lovely venue with good facilities. So that, that works well. And we try very hard to have events and activities and services uh, several times during the year in, in different parts of the widespread geographical area. So that's kind of a bit how we operate. Um, we set up uh, on this journey in July 2022. And I think that I originally got the idea uh, from visiting Oxford Synagogue sometime before and saw that they were involved in eco-Judaism and thought that seemed a, a good thing to do. Uh, we had a very small team, just two adults and one teenager. Uh, we met monthly on Zoom. So this is really a, a, a little, a mini story of how, how we've sort of developed, really. Um, but it was it was quite exciting because we were both very committed and interested, and we'd actually uh, met up on a an action about the health of the River Wye in Herefordshire. So that was a good kind of bonding thing, really. Um, so we started on the eco journey. I have to say that the first two to two and a half months were difficult, um, especially for me, just in trying to understand all the technical aspects of how to get registered, how to understand the website, how to understand what the audit was, how to fill it in, all of those things, uh, which may seem quite simple once you've done it, but actually took a little bit of time to get sorted. However, after a couple of months or so, um, I... Then I made contact with Donna Cohen from Central Eco Judaism, and, and she was brilliant in helping us move forward and explaining things and giving support. So from that point on, things moved forward quite well. Um, I realised that obviously we had to identify what we'd already been doing and what had already been successful, if you like, because we realised that we had done quite a few things. I would say that our Initially, our strengths seemed to be very much in um, education, in services in Cheder, in our um, fortnightly bulletin and our newsletter. So, for example, we started, um, as other communities have done, we started an eco corner with eco tips in the fortnightly bulletin, little things that individuals could do to improve their relationship with the environment. Uh, we had longer articles in the newsletter, for example, one about LOAF, which stands for Local Organic Animal Friendly and uh, Fair Trade Food, and also about um, uh, shops, what's it, refill, refill shops, all that kind of thing, to try and encourage people to eat more sustainably and more awarely. Um, as other communities have done, we've we've certainly done things in terms of minimizing our use of, of plastics and we're lucky that most of our venues because we don't have a huge number of people coming so we can use the sort of crockery from the facility so so that's really good and we do our own washing up or we have a machine um so we also um had two very successful uh, bar mitzvah projects um you know in the last couple of two two years or so um both of them, one was about tree planting and one was about uh, what do you call these eco bottles that you fill up um, with plastic that I spent a long time doing. 
Anyway, we did we did that. Eco bricks. Eco bricks. That's right. We did that. Um, so and that was really good. And it was good that you know we could see there was enthusiasm for these ideas amongst other people. Um, so and we also uh, began. Uh, we've had a very successful Eco Shabbat a service last year, which was at the time of the COP summit, and uh, again getting people more on board. And we've got great plans for this year's Eco Shabbat with uh, meeting up with a local co-housing community, which happens to have uh, a number of Jewish and Israeli members. And the idea is that they're going to come to our Eco Shabbat service, and then we're going to go over to the co-housing project, and they're going to show us about all the eco features and how they operate. So that will be quite quite exciting, really. Um, other things we've done, um, we recently, um, so we realized one of the areas we needed to develop further was in the engagement with the community and finding out uh, what different people in the community are doing. Um, I was very interested to hear about Oxford's presentation with the Ecometer. Uh, but what we've done is we did a, a survey about gardens, growing produce, to find out how many people in the community were doing that, in what way, how many uh, had allotments or used allotments. And we've set up a contact point for anybody who wants advice in that area. So, and that's the first of, we hope, you know, other kind of similar sorts of surveys. Um, for technical reasons, we didn't get a brilliant response, but we will get better. A lot of, you know, a lot of this is a learning process, but it's been, um, it's been an exciting journey. Um, one of the other things was we, it wasn't until quite close to submitting our, um, for our bronze award that we realized uh, we hadn't got an eco policy in place, which had to be approved by the council. And uh, luckily we managed to get that done in time and approved and we were happy with it, just with a very small change of wording after comments from the council. So, um, so we're really glad we got the bronze award. And in fact, we are hoping to go for silver within about six months. Um, in one way, it's an advantage, the fact that we don't have a synagogue building, so we can't do so much on that carbon footprint front. front. But obviously, we can try and do more in encouraging individual members. And uh, it's been really interesting to hear the presentations so far. Uh, but if anyone wants to know more about the, the first steps and the beginning process, um, do contact me, as Fiona had said. I'm happy to, to help. Thank you.